Welcome to quarter-final action from the China Open in Beijing with qualifier Anastasia Sevastova meeting local favourite Li Na for the very first time. Li stormed through her previous match in just 47 minutes. Sevastova offered more resistance but handed Li the initiative in game eight. That's from tour wide. Surely she has to go. The Latvian shocked Li and the crowd with a break of her own in the very next game. Back on serve, the first set went the distance before this mistimed, miscued return from Sevastova. Yet Lee the first set, 7-6. Oh no, it's loose in the end. Lee looked to press home the advantage early in the second set. This simple volley at the net brought an early break. Oh yes, wonderful backhand at the net. And Lee... The ninth seed moved to the brink with a double break in game seven. This weak return and Sevastova looked beaten. To lean up, she leads 5-2. But the qualifier refused to concede so soon and broke back immediately. Lee, as in the first set, struggling to finish off the job. The 28-year-old Lee responded in game nine, beating Sevastova from the baseline. This cross-court forehand perfectly placed, and the Latvian's run was at end. Lee, the first player through to the semi-finals, winning in straight set 7-6-6-3. The second quarter final on the Lotus Court brought together a former world number one battling to regain her form in Anna Ivanovic against the new world number one, Caroline Wozniacki, who's in the form of her life. Ivanovic may have been sporting the brighter outfit, but it was Wozniacki who made the brighter start with the break of serve in game six. Oh yes, great backhand. And the first break of serve. The hugely competitive Ivanovic hit back and broke back in the very next game, back on serve. The pair couldn't be separated, meaning a tie break would settle the first set that was a little more one-sided as Denmark's darling Wozniacki went one up. And the sixth time of asking, Wozniacki takes the opening set, seven games to six. Ivanovic had ousted seventh seed Elena Dementieva in the previous round, but could see this one slipping away, broken in the first game of the second set. Oh, dearie me. She played so many of those well. Wozniacki once set up and a break up and seemingly in control until this happened in game five. Replays show Wozniacki appeared to land awkwardly on her left leg, jarring her knee. Concerned faces all round. Wozniacki, the new world number one, handled with care. After a slight delay, Wozniacki was able to resume. The injury to Wozniacki appeared only temporary as she got the better of the Serbian serve for a second time in the second set. She'd be serving for the match. Ivanovic had never previously dropped a set to Wozniacki and, sensing defeat, dug deep, pulling Wozniacki wide before delivering a winning overhead smash. First chance of victory went begging for Wozniacki. Ivanovic held serve in game nine, but Wozniacki was still a break to the good and made no mistake second time around. In their previous two meetings in 2008, Ivanovic triumphed. Then she was ranked in the world's top three. Wozniacki was as low as 64. How times have changed. Wozniacki through to the last four, 7 6 6 four. Across on the second show court, the moon court, the remaining semi final plays would go to either Shahab Pair of Israel or Switzerland's Tamer Beksinski. All went with serve until game five. Pair long and Baksinski a break to the good. And Pair is broken. In the blink of an eye, a Baksinski double fault. 23 year old Pair level. The first set back on serve. Pair dropped just three games in her previous match, but this wayward forehand meant Baksinski would be serving for the set. And Batsinski breaks to love. Successful service games were at a premium, it seemed. A chance to claim the first set went begging for Batsinski as Pear broke again. Uh, just as she did earlier, breaks back. The topsy-turvy first set required a tie break to settle matters, and that went the way of Pear as Batsinski netted with a backhand. And Pear does it at the first time of asking. She's won the first set in a tie break, 7-4.
pair had the momentum and when Baksinski fell short with this return it was a second break in the second set for the Israeli and it is a double break the number 15 seed leads 4-1 Baksinski though refused to go quietly and won the next three games and she is back into it because she's broken again Pair broke Baksinski in game nine before serving out for the match. The two met for the first time in Tokyo only last week. Pair won in three sets on that occasion. This time victorious in straight sets, 7 6 6 4, to book a place in the semi finals of the China Open against Caroline Wozniacki. Earlier on Friday, Vera Zvonareva overwhelmed Francesca Schiavoni 6 love 6 2, and she'll now meet Li Na in the other semi final.